we're going to be palpating biceps femoris, so which is going to be in our hamstring group. Biceps femoris is the lateral two bellies versus semitendinosus and membranosus more on the medial aspect. So we're going to be starting off by palpating the long head of biceps origin. Uh, you can take the palm of your hand and kind of push in like so. If not, kind of find just the bottom of that gluteal fold where the ischial tuberosity is going to be. The ischial tuberosity of the ischium is going to be the origin for all three hamstrings, but for biceps femoris, it's just its long head. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to activate this muscle. So I'm going to have our body just lift their leg up. Hamstrings are primary knee flexors. So yes, it does act on the acetabulofemoral joint doing extension, but if they were to lift their whole lower extremity up, you're gonna get a lot from gluteus maximus. And I'm trying to keep glute max out and more focused just on the hamstring itself. So let's lower the leg back down again. Just bring this up. We're gonna change our palp. I'm gonna push down on her leg and this is gonna activate what almost kind of feels like a common tendon right here. So it's going to be really hard to distinguish the difference between biceps femoris, semitendinosus, and semimembranosus, especially up at their origin, because they do start blending together and almost overlapping. So what we're actually going to do is go down to the distal end of the muscle, and then I'm going to start to work my way back up. So we're going to turn the leg a little bit here, and I'm putting this on a slight angle so that we can kind of get this tendon of biceps femoris to stick up. I'm going to add some resistance to that knee flexion and right in this area right here is going to be our easy to find biceps femoris tendon. So I'm actually going to follow it down. It's crossing the knee joint and it's inserting into this head of the fibula right in this landmark here. So I'm able to easily grab and kind of maneuver that as well as it goes a little bit wider than that going on to the lateral tibial condyle. Okay, so head of the fibula, lateral tibial condyle are our insertions. The long head is very tendinous on this lower aspect. I'm able to kind of cross fiber and strum. And once I get a little bit higher, it's gonna turn more into a muscle belly. So I'm gonna add again a little bit of resistance. Good. And what I'm doing here is I'm actually trying to separate the semitendinosus and membranosus, which are over here, more from the biceps femoris, which are on this side. So as I follow up specifically biceps femoris on its long head, it's going to get harder to pull apart as we work our way up. So I'm going to turn more to a strum, and that's going to take us all the way up to the ischial tuberosity right in this area here. Now for the short head, I need to slacken the long head. So what I'm actually gonna do is first ask permission to put my knee up on the table. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bend the knee up. I'm gonna be placing my knee here to actually slacken the muscle. So I'm adding a little bit of a bend. I'm gonna rotate the leg out a little bit. So once I've found this long head tendon right in this area, I'm actually gonna be trying to go underneath it. So here's our long head tendon. I'm going to just pull up into my hand. Perfect. Right here, I'm going to go underneath the long head, get her to relax, push the long head over, and try to get my fingers down onto the posterior aspect of the femur. The short head is going to be originating here along the linea aspera of the femur, which is a posterior landmark. And I'm just kind of above the lateral supracondylar ridge of the femur and then up along this posterior lateral lip of the linea aspera. There's a little bit of an argument about how much of the femur the short head covers, but I'm probably going around three quarters of the way up the femur here, showing the attachment for the short head. So again, if I have my partner to bend her knee up, this is a me grasping the long head component of it, and then I go to the side, get it to relax, and I push that long head out of the way as we drop down as best we can underneath. So the short head is underneath the long head. So again, long head originating off the ischial tuberosity, short head off the posterior linea aspera, and both heads are going to be inserting down into the head of the fibula as well as the lateral tibial condyle of the tibia.
That is going to conclude the palpation of biceps femoris.